Hey everyone, it's Pastor Phil Janish, and welcome to our Sunday preparation meditation for this week. Have you ever been rejected? It really hurts to be rejected, you know, um, maybe when you were a kid you didn't get invited to a birthday party or uh, some of the friends tried to ostracize you or you didn't get picked to uh, um, be on the sports team, you know, some of us remember that from when we were kids where you were picking teams and you would be picked last and uh, that rejection hurt and maybe as you got older you experienced being rejected by a boy or a girl that you liked or maybe you experienced uh, being rejected for a college you wanted to go to or a job you wanted being rejected really hurts and you know as Christians Jesus tells us the pain of rejection is something we are going to face um, as we try and spread God's word and tell others about Jesus, sometimes we are going to be rejected. People are going to say, no thanks. Sometimes that rejection even goes a step further and we get persecuted. Uh, people say, you guys are bad, and maybe they even try and harm us in some way because of what we are saying. And that rejection really hurts. It really hurts, especially if you're trying to tell somebody you deeply love about Jesus. You see, you're trying to tell them about Jesus because you want them to be saved, because you don't want them to uh, die without the hope of heaven. You want them to be saved, and you're telling them about Jesus because you love them, and then if they reject you, that really hurts. So, in our sermon this Sunday, we're going to be asking the question, what does Jesus say to us when we're dealing, when we're suffering from rejection? And we'll say a lot of things tomorrow, but here are some things Jesus says today. One, he knows how you feel. In our sermon uh, and gospel reading for this Sunday, we see that Jesus was rejected by the people of his hometown. Even his own relatives rejected him, and that rejection must have hurt. So Jesus knows how you feel. Two, when you are rejected, know that even though you've been rejected, you have still done your duty. In our second lesson, um, for this Sunday, the Apostle Paul is going to tell us, he's going to use the analogy of a soldier. He says, a soldier doesn't get entangled in civilian affairs. What he tries to do is please his commanding officer. A soldier, you know, really doesn't care about uh, rejection or acceptance. All he cares about is, did he do his duty? And as Christians, as soldiers of Christ, we recognize that if we tell others about Jesus, Jesus, whether we're accepted or rejected, we have done our duty and our Lord Jesus, he commends us for that. He has already accepted us into his family. And if we tell others about him, even if they reject us, he says, well done, good and faithful servant. You did your duty. So we'll talk a lot more about what Jesus says to us when we deal with the pain of rejection. But for now, remember, Jesus knows how you feel. And when you tell others about Jesus, you can take uh, comfort in this. You have done your duty. Duty, and your Lord Jesus does accept you. I hope to see you on Sunday uh, for the last part of our sermon series. What does Jesus say to us when we suffer? Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.